Hello everybody, this is Bella61301 and she is going to teach you how to draw a chibi cat that looks similar to this. And it's going to be quite a little bit. But as you can see, I've drawn a lot more if you want. I can teach you how to draw e any of these. It's all simple. Oh yeah, black nail polish. Anywho, let's get to work. Okay, you firstly start, well, I use O5 lead, so you firstly start with a simple circle. You start with a simple circle like this, like, like this if you cannot see it, just a simple circle. And then... I just start with the cat ears that go down like that. Like that. Except on both sides. They may be uneven at the moment, but that's just how I draw. I draw them uneven. Like this. Don't do it up and down. Do it basically this way. And the next, I will draw in the whisk. well, not whiskers, but it's just what, where I put them, it looks like whiskers. I put three little tufts, then one right here to bring, like that. Then one like that. Then I bring it over here, I do that, 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 then do that bring it up basically like that you will get it done about like that little chibi face so far and now I'm going to draw the hair I just do simple hair her name is Tsukiko everyone's been asking me to draw this, this particular character but anywho here we erase the lines that you do not need right now none of this will show up in the final in the final drawing itself this is not the final drawing yet okay and about where the ear is is where we're going to draw a line and connect this tuft right here in this tuft like that to where the ear is to make it look like a three-dimensional ear and then I will now draw the eyes the eyes are going to be kind of hard to draw since I have O5 lead and this just does not want to work so I'm going to have to use my pencil to draw it O5 breaks way too easily and then whoa And I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, and about like that. Then I'm going to draw her eye. And yes, it's a girl. I just managed to not put eyelashes in. It's kind of bad. And it's uneven. Yes, it's like totally uneven. So I need to fix that. about like that and in order to give her emotion it's all in the eyebrow the way the eyebrows are or the mouth which is like going to be like that kitty-ish you know but I like doing it with a lead pencil which I do not have like that and I'm going to be using my OC Oh, 09 millimeters and I'm not good with 09 right now so just bear with me I'm not good with it erase some more lines then okay now the eyebrows are a little uneven not by much but a little 
I'm just so used to doing this and mechanical. Okay, then I'm going to draw her sides like that. And I usually just draw tuft, 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 like that to impl imply that there is arms there. And then I'm going to pull a tail around like this, but I'm going to make sure that it goes one, two, to make it look like a tail. It's going to be the main thing. This may not be like my other ones at all. It may not be like it, but it's fairly similar. I draw this character all the time. She's one that I've made up. If I'm copywriting this, I really do not know why. But she has a specific amount of hair. Then you draw the little highlights in her eyes. Just draw the little highlights. Like this. Now, I'm going to speed this up a little by drawing in pupil, like that, then pupil again, like that, then shade it in. Basically like that. And yeah, if you want, you can see my tutorial on inking, which will be posted next. See you real soon.